This is a quick video of the CZ barrel of my Taipan Veteran. Put my bore scope in. There we go. First, this is the lead. Let's see if I can just hold it a little bit more steady. Sorry, as I twist it. It's got some, I threw, I pulled a dry cleaning patch through it couple times and you can kind of see some of the cotton left over on the edges there okay now I'll just push it straight through this is how I determined the twist rate I made sure I pushed it all the way straight through and I counted until all the lands and grooves went by and how far it was worked a treat. I actually measured 18 inches instead of the 17.7 inches that it's supposed to be. If you look at a ruler and you see 0.3 inches you can kind of see how it's pretty tough to measure to. Whoa, whoa, what was that? Okay, looks like some part that maybe needs cleaned out. And there's another one. All right, so here is the crown at the end. Twist it. Oh, kind of a weird spot right there where it's, I don't know, looks like it's angled slightly different. Maybe that's just an illusion of the light. Crown looks pretty dang clear and good, as it should. This barrel shoots lights out. All right. This is the Air Gun Heaven 710 millimeter long slug barrel. It's got eight lands and grooves. Let's put it in and take a look at the lead real quick, if I can hold it still. I actually, there we go, oh, oh, right there, lead starts a little later than in the other one it looks like, but it looks good. The diameter of this barrel, oh it's a little shiny in there, I probably didn't dry it good enough. I cleaned this one, unlike my CZ where I just pulled some dry patches. I pulled some wet patches through this. It does look a little shiny wet. It's a lot longer barrel. It doesn't seem like the lands and grooves are quite as sharp. No, it's like they're rounded or something. Just different, but I haven't seen any issues while scoping it like this. It's got a, well off the top of my head, I measured it last night like a thousand times just to be sure, but I think it's a 15 to one twist rate. It's a little faster than the CZ. That's really long, where the heck is that crown? It's down there somewhere. Jeez, long barrel. There it is, all right, so. Let's uh, twist and see what we see here. A uh, little something on the end right there. Wonder where the light's shining. Probably just could use a better cleaning, I guess. Okay, this has been there forever, that little bump. I can't tell you what it is. I don't think it comes out. I think it might be a gash and not like a bump in the barrel. Everything else looks pretty good. I don't see any problems with the crown. And there's that bump again. That's how I know I've gone one revolution. Almost don't want to miss it or I'd lose it. it kind of gives me a mark where I'm at. Okay. 